attacking threat as well. Farouz goes over on the off over on the far side. Shankun, no Shamil. Jadid. Brazilians never do stuff easily, but Penang have done a very, very solid job here to win this round of 16 TMP Ala Malaysia clash. They've done it by winning both halves. They were 1-0 up at half-time, courtesy Casa Grande. And they won the second half 2-1, despite Nico Velez scoring an equaliser early in the half. Goals by the excellent Ama Azahar. And then from Lee Chang-Hoon, although I'm sure Rafael would want to claim it. But Lee Chang-Hoon has officially got the credit. We'll let them argue over that. But the end result is that it is a 3-1 victory for Penang. They've thoroughly deserved it. It's been workmanlike. They've been the better side. Veld United, well, they are out of everything. Relegated from the Super League and now out of the first hurdle of the TMP Ala Malaysia. As usual, they've been honest. They've given it a go. But the end result is the end of Veld United's season. And it's Penang, a team on the up three. Felder, a team down and out, one. Highlights from Penang's 3-1 victory over Feld United. Round of 16 in the TMP Ala Malaysia at Stadium Bandarai in Penang. And Casagrande was the man we spoke about before. Hank Casagrande nearly scoring in the fourth minute with a header that bounced off the crossbar. And the Brazilians' ability to get to the far post and Penang's ability to play the perfect ball into him was a feature certainly of the first 60 minutes. But also a feature was the pace on the break here of Magumi. And it just bounces awkwardly for young Shami Zamri. This is a tap-in in any no normal circumstance, but the little bobble meant that he put it wide. Coming forward, Karen Ashwin. This is all in the first eight minutes, I can tell you. Slides a shot wide of Zari Furfan's uh, left-hand post. And Penang started with a plum and looked like a team full of confidence as a team who've just won a championship would be. Has a grande again the target couldn't redirect towards the goal, but you can see it's uh, not very sophisticated. But both Casa Grande going far post and the man near post, Rafael, are targets. Ama Azahar was a constant threat, he provided the width out left and was always an option. Picked up by Lee Chang Hoon on this occasion. Good angles from Zari Furfan in the Felder goal, so no goal resulting. And then a near goal again, far post again, Casa Grande. And Vitor going near post probably would have been disallowed for offside because, as you can see, as Casagrande wins this header, Vitor is a, a good, sorry, Rafael is a, a good few metres offside. And then the goal, Casagrande, far post. They've rehearsed this five, six times already this half. And Azmi Muslim clips a lovely ball just into that space. And Casagrande, that that's how he makes his living. He's done it for a long time in Malaysia. And until clubs find out ways to stop him, he will do. Almost immediately, Carol Amrit couldn't sort his feet out, and Rafael makes a very good block. Lovely ball from Nico Velas, who just come on as a substitute for the unlucky injured Sami Jamri. Then in the second half, this is very early on. Lee Chang Kun, it's a tap in if Al Hafiz has just put a little bit less weight. Al Hafiz was very bright down the right hand side. I mentioned Ama Azahar down the left. Al Hafiz did a similarly good job down the right hand side. And then the equaliser, Velez shot deflects, Magumi miscontrols, Velez taps it in ahead of Somerville. A little bit out of the blue, but the Argentine will accept the goal and Feld accepted the lifeline. Brought them right back into this Fiala Malaysia round of 16 match. And they could think of going on to win it from here. Next goal would be crucial. The next goal, though, would come from the visitors, but not before Magumi had cut inside and 
slammed the shot over. This was the purple patch for Felder. This was the time when, if they were going to win the match, they needed to score here. But Megumi hasn't scored at all this season, despite some excellent performances. Al Hafiz plays in the outstanding Azahar. One, two, touch over the goalkeeper, Zarif. And two, one. Felder, just at the high point of their resurgence, find themselves two, one down again. And Penang get the lifeline. Again, Al Hafiz, Ama Azahar. We can talk about the Brazilians, we can talk about the foreigners, but that is a lovely combination between Ama and Al Hafiz. And Ama, my man of the match. And then 3 1 went. Li Chang Hoon he curls beyond everybody. We thought the Vitor might get a touch. He didn't. Rafael Vitor not given it. Li Chang Hoon will claim it. The Korean. <laughs> they can argue about that later. And then Bobby Gonzalez hits the crossbar after a brave piece of uh, attacking play from him. Ama denied by Raz Popovich. Sarah Furfan got a yellow card and there was a free kick as a result for that for Penang. But off the bar anyway for Gonzalez. From the free kick, Lee Chang Hoon curls on just wide of Zarif Erfan. By this time, Felder were down and out, and Penang have taken this match by three goals to one. Let's go down for some post match interviews. We're talking to